In this video, I'm gonna talk about why everyone must know blockchain. And I know that sounds like a really bold statement, but I'm gonna give you several reasons why I think that and back that up. So make sure you watch this whole video to find out. Before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And don't forget, my brand new program, Blockchain Mastery University, is opening in just two days. You need to be on my email list in order to take advantage of the special launch event. So sign up with the link down below. So why should everyone master blockchain? Well, there's lots of reasons that I'm gonna outline in this video, but first let me summarize it this way. Blockchain is growing so quickly that everyone must know it in order to stay relevant. Whether you're a developer or not, if you use technology in any way, you need to have at least a basic understanding of how blockchain works or else you're gonna get left in the dust. So let me break that down a little bit further. Here's reason number one. Blockchain is rapidly taking over the marketplace. LinkedIn just named blockchain the number one hottest skill of 2020. And if you think other skills like artificial intelligence, you know, machine learning, or cloud computing were the hot thing, then think again. It's blockchain. So if you want to become a blockchain developer or you're already a developer and you're looking for skills to specialize in, then you cannot ignore blockchain. And I'm really excited that this report came out from LinkedIn because if you've been watching this channel for a while, these things should sound so familiar to you. I've literally been saying these things for years. So there you have it. Well, let's dive into this LinkedIn report a little more and look at some of the key takeaways. So takeaway number one is that developers need to learn solidity. Here the report's talking about, you know, hard skills versus soft skills in the marketplace. And under the hard skills category, they're talking about, you know, technical skills that developers possess. And that typically means like the programming languages that they know, the frameworks they know, all the tools and tech. And this report is saying that Solidity is one of the number one hard skills required for blockchain development in the current marketplace and is one of the hottest trends for 2020. Well, there's good news for you because that's exactly what I've been teaching on this channel and also inside my blockchain developer bootcamp. So if you've been following along with those things, you're on the right track. And if you haven't been following along, then there's plenty of time to catch up with all the resources that I've put out there to teach you these exact skills. So number two takeaway is that employer demand has skyrocketed. This says in November of last year, Hard Fork reported that job vacancy site Indeed had noted decreasing candidate interest in blockchain related roles, but that employer demand in the industry had skyrocketed. And when employer demand increases and the number of people who know how to perform those skills is still small, that's a really good thing for you developers. So takeaway number three from the LinkedIn report is that becoming a blockchain developer is the best way to make money in blockchain. It says right here, so while it might be relatively difficult to make money from investing or trading cryptocurrency this year, working with its underlying tech still seems mighty lucrative. So I just did a video about this recently that, you know, becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to make money with blockchain in 2020. And here we're seeing this exact sentiment confirmed by this LinkedIn report. And in that video, I talked about how you can be a beginner and still learn blockchain. You don't have to know all these other programming skills to get started because a lot of other people got interested in blockchain by looking at cryptocurrency in the first place. And channeling that interest into, you know, actually developing these kinds of skills, one of the hottest skills for 2020 is the best way to make money with blockchain. So there you have it. The LinkedIn report confirms that blockchain is taking over the marketplace and becoming the number one hottest skill for 2020 ahead of cloud computing, ahead of AI or machine learning. All right. So let me give you another reason why you must know blockchain. And that's because it's one of the highest paying fields in tech. So what happens when there's a developer shortage that LinkedIn just talked about? You know, where employer demand is skyrocketing, but the number of developers entering the marketplace isn't, right? This is a scenario where the demand is huge, but the supply is really small. So what happens when the supply is small and the demand is big? Well, it's basic economics. The price of compensation goes up. And that's exactly why blockchain is one of the highest paying skills in technology right now. And I just released another video talking about how blockchain developers earn over $150,000 per year on average and how beginning developers with hardly any experience can even earn six figure salaries. And sure, you can still do this in other programming disciplines, but here's the really important thing to understand. 
The data shows that in many cases, you're more likely to get this kind of result in blockchain compared to some other programming discipline. And that's the upside of becoming a blockchain developer that cannot be ignored. So if you're already a programmer and haven't hit that milestone yet, or you wanna become a developer at all and you're looking for a place to specialize, then I highly recommend checking out blockchain because those are the kind of results that are possible. And in many cases are more likely to occur than something else. All right, reason number three why you must know blockchain. While I think blockchain is one of the best skills to specialize in, if not the best, your skills are gonna be out of date if you don't at least have a basic understanding of it. Let me explain why. Let's say you're a full stack web developer. At some point in your career, you're probably gonna have to work on some sort of application that accepts credit card payments, whether it's a SaaS subscription, selling physical products, or selling digital products. If you've done this already, you've probably had to use some sort of payment processor like Stripe or PayPal, because these are some of the top ways to accept payments online. And you've probably had to learn best practices for handling money and financial transactions inside of your applications. But if blockchain technology continues to solve problems around financial use cases, then it's very possible that it's going to be standard for people to pay with digital currency online. And for that reason, you need to understand it. And blockchain isn't just about digital currency right now. It's just the number one use case at the moment. More use cases are emerging and they take advantage of what blockchain is really good at. See, blockchain is basically just a computer, like your laptop, your smartphone, or a web server. If you don't understand it, it's going to be like being a developer and not knowing how a web server works, not knowing how a mobile app works, or not even knowing how to use a database in the first place. So even if you don't specialize in becoming a blockchain developer, you need to have some amount of understanding about how a blockchain works in order to be relevant as a developer. So that's the bad news, but the good news is that's exactly what this channel's here for. All right, so that's it. Those are my main reasons why everyone must know blockchain. It's a rapidly growing technology that is taking over the marketplace and you must have some level of understanding of it as a developer in order to stay relevant. So now what I wanna do is switch gears. I wanna answer some questions that I've gotten from you all over email. So these are all related to the nitty gritty aspect of blockchain development. So if you're trying to build your own blockchain applications, you're trying to learn whatever it is, you wanna stick around because I'm gonna be sharing some really valuable information with these answers. So question number one is from Dimitri. He says, please tell us about uh, GSN from Open Zeppelin. So let's see what he's talking about. So GSN is the gas station network. And here you can see that they describe themselves as the ultimate onboarding solution for Ethereum applications. So what does it do? Well, that's the benefit that it provides. It tries to reduce the friction from other people using your applications that leverage the blockchain. Let me explain why. So whenever someone uses an application that's connected to the blockchain and they want to write some sort of information to it, they need an Ethereum wallet. So what problem does this solve? Well, whenever people use a blockchain-based application, there's a lot of hurdles they have to overcome in order to use it in the first place. They must install a special Chrome extension on their web browser in order to use it. And in many cases, they must hold a cryptocurrency in order to pay gas fees on the network, all right? So what does that mean? Well, basically, you know, if you see on my screen here, uh, this little Fox icon, this is the MetaMask Ethereum wallet. It basically turns your web browser into a blockchain browser because most web browsers don't support uh, connection to the blockchain out of the box. All right, so that's, that's problem number one. If you want anyone to use your app, you must have this installed, all right? So most of the time someone comes to your application that never used a blockchain before and it says, hey, you know, you must install an extension before you can even do anything on this. That's a pretty big uh, drop off point for a lot of people. All right. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, if they want to take advantage of the security of the blockchain and store information on it or interact with a smart contract by creating transactions, they must pay a gas fee. And in order to do this, they must hold cryptocurrency or money in their wallet. So if they have MetaMask installed, you know, they can have an account that they've crossed step number one, but to cross step number two, they might have to go to a cryptocurrency exchange, enter their credit card information, go through KYC just to buy some like Ether, some Ethereum cryptocurrency and send it to their wallet in order to even use one of these apps in the first place. So that's another huge drop off point for a lot of people. So that's the problem that Gas Station Network tries to solve. They try to actually cover your fees for your users whenever they are using the blockchain. 
they try to reduce this friction to onboarding new users into your application. All right, so I haven't actually used this yet. If this is something that you all are interested in seeing tutorials on, leave a comment down below. But I hope that answers your question, Dimitri, and helps others out there who may have the same question. So next question is also from Dimitri. I got two emails from you, so I'm going to be nice and answer both of them today. He asks, can you please tell us about the ERC-777 standard? All right, so... Well, what this is, is a specification for building Ethereum tokens or cryptocurrencies uh, on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So if you've ever seen any of my other tutorials on how to create your own cryptocurrency, I show you how to do this with an ERC-20 token. And this is talking about an ERC-777 token um, that is meant to improve upon that standard. And it's also meant to be backwards compatible with ERC-20. So really quickly, you hear these names like ERC or EIP. These are basically just standards that are proposed by the community so that everyone agrees on how like you know certain things are done. So for an ERC-20 token, for example, uh, basically it's a standard for tokens to get created so that they can be held in wallets, bought and sold on cryptocurrency exchanges, used to pay for things. Um, and so that everyone who builds with these tokens, like if you want to build a wallet, you want to build an exchange, you want to build any of that stuff, uh, we agree on like how it works. Okay. So they tried to improve upon this by creating ERC-777. All right. So I'll, I'll be up front. I haven't used ERC-777 on my own projects just yet, uh, but it looks really cool that it's backwards compatible with ERC-20. All right. There are several new features that you can read about here. It tries to implement a new interface for sending tokens. Um, they have more control over what users can and can't do with their own tokens. So you can read about this on the Ethereum Improvement Proposals Repository. All right. So if you're looking at creating a new and improved Ethereum token, uh, you can check out ERC-777 uh, because it's backwards compatible with ERC-20. All right. So I hope that helps, uh, Dimitri. And all of you out there who are also watching, who may be curious about this, I hope that helped you too. All right, so that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, those are my top reasons why everyone should know blockchain, and those are a few of your questions answered here at the end of the video. Um, if you want to email me questions, my email inbox is always open at gregory at dappuniversity.com. There's a link down below where you can get that address. Um, and so yeah, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below if you haven't already, and don't forget, Blockchain Mastery University opens in just two short days. All right, you need to be on my email list in order to participate in this special launch event. There's a link down below where you can sign up. All right, thanks. Until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.